Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In this video, we're going to show you our advanced Ichimoku trading strategy. We applied this exact strategy to a bunch of recent killer trade setups, and we'll be breaking down those trade setups in this video. So here's exactly what we'll be covering in this video. Now to show your support, please hit the like button as it goes a long way in supporting our team. Also, be sure to subscribe, but more importantly, to hit the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. So let's dive right into it. We're going to first set up the Ichimoku indicator. If you want access to the exact trading software we use, head on over to our website at wisetrade.com. So find your indicators, type in Ichimoku and select it. And here it is, an absolute mess. Now, as a heads up, we do not use all these lines, but let's first break down what they are. The line in blue is the conversion line. The line in red is the baseline. The line in green is the lagging span. The line in light green is the leading span A. The line in light red is the leading span B. Now, the only part we use is this highlighted area here in between the leading span A and leading span B, which is what we refer to as the core Ichimoku cloud. This is why you don't need to know all the theory behind these lines, because you don't need all these lines on your chart. It looks messy, will confuse you, and give you a lot of contradicting signals. So we're going to remove all these lines and only keep the leading span A and leading span B, which forms the cloud. Now let's get into how the Ichimoku cloud is traditionally used. There are many ways to interpret the Ichimoku cloud, but we're focusing on what we find actually matters and works. So first, getting your directional bias by looking at whether price is above the cloud or below the cloud. When price is above the cloud, this often signals a bullish upwards market. When price is below the cloud, this often signals a bearish downwards market. This is the Vimeo stock. Notice how the stock has spent the majority of its life in a downtrend and below the Ichimoku cloud, which isn't a good sign. So next, gauging momentum by looking at the distance between price and the cloud. Starting in an uptrend, the further away price is from the cloud like this shows heavy bullish momentum. In contrast, when you see price moving closer to the cloud like this or chopping around inside of the cloud, it signals a loss of bullish momentum and price consolidating. Now in a downtrend, the same thing. Price being further away from the cloud like this shows heavy bearish momentum. In contrast, when you see price moving closer to the cloud like this or chopping around inside of the cloud, it signals a loss of bearish momentum and price consolidating. So next, when price breaks through the cloud, it can confirm a trend change. Starting in an uptrend, Price is above the cloud, signaling a moving uptrend. When price then breaks through and ends up below the cloud, it signals a trend change from an uptrend to a downtrend. Again, price is above before it breaks through and below the cloud. This shows a trend change from an uptrend to a downtrend. This is the Shopify stock. Notice how the stock has been above the Ichimoku cloud and in an upwards trajectory for the majority of its life before finally breaking below the Ichimoku cloud in January 2022 of this year, and then went straight down afterwards. This is the DraftKings stock. Again, this stock has been majority bullish throughout its life and stayed above the Ichimoku cloud. You then started to see bearish price action through the imperfect head and shoulders pattern, followed by a break of the neckline and break below the cloud, which triggered a heavily bearish move downwards. So going in the opposite direction in a downtrend, the same thing. Price is below the cloud, signaling a moving downtrend. When price then breaks through and ends up above the cloud, it signals a trend change from a downtrend to an uptrend. Now, moving on. So the Ichimoku cloud 
can be used as a form of support and resistance. Starting in an uptrend, when price is above the cloud and price pulls back to the cloud, notice how it reacts to the outline of the cloud and cloud border, acting as a form of support. What this means is long trade opportunities arise at these areas where price can bounce upwards from. Now, price can also enter the cloud before reversing, which is another way the Ichimoku cloud acts as a form of support. So going in the opposite direction in a downtrend, when price is below the cloud and price pulls back to the cloud, notice how it reacts to the outline of the cloud and the cloud border, acting as a form of resistance. What this means is short trade opportunities arise at these areas where price can bounce downwards from. So price can also enter inside of the cloud before reversing, which is another way the Ichimoku cloud acts as a form of resistance. Again, multiple reactions as resistance before reversing downwards. And again, multiple reactions as resistance before reversing downwards. Now you could combine an Ichimoku cloud break with an Ichimoku cloud pullback entry for higher quality trade setups. You have your moving uptrend and price being above the cloud. Price then breaks through the cloud and below it, signaling a trend change from an uptrend to a downtrend. Price then immediately pulls back and forms multiple long wick candles at the Ichimoku cloud resistance, which presented a short trade opportunity. Once you have an intraday trend change confirmation, you would take short entries. Now, these kinds of setups that occur right after the break through the cloud are of higher quality because you are getting into a trade at the start of a fresh trend, meaning the trend has legs and room to move a lot further. If you want to learn more about fresh trends versus trend exhaustion, make sure to watch this video here on false breakouts, where we cover this concept in depth. So let's show this again. Price is above the cloud, which signals an uptrend. Once price breaks below the cloud, this is a trend change from an uptrend to a downtrend. You then had an immediate pullback and candlestick reaction to the Ichimoku cloud resistance, which presented a short trade opportunity. Once you had your intraday trend change confirmation, you would take short entries. So going in the opposite direction in a downtrend, price is below the cloud, signaling a moving downtrend. Price then breaks through the cloud and above it, signaling a trend change from a downtrend to an uptrend. Price then pulls back inside the cloud as support, presenting a long trade opportunity. Once you had an intraday trend change confirmation, you would take long entries. So again, price is below the cloud, signaling a moving downtrend. Price then breaks through the cloud and above it, signaling a trend change from a downtrend to an uptrend. Price then pulls back to the cloud as support and forms this very long wick candle, presenting a long trade opportunity. Once you had an intraday trend change confirmation, you would take long entries. So now you can also use the Ichimoku cloud for trade exits. You have your moving downtrend. You have your trend line connecting the swing highs. Once price broke through the trend line, signaling a trend change from a downtrend to an uptrend, you would be taking long entries through finding long trade setups on the lower intraday timeframes. Then once price reached the Ichimoku cloud, you would consider closing out those long positions in case price reversed off the Ichimoku cloud. So now, before we get into the strategies section, three very key points. First, like all indicators, you should not use them on their own, as you'll often get a lot of false signals. We only use indicators in combination with price action to increase the quality of an already good trade setup. Second, everything we show you in this video and strategies section works on all asset classes the same. Whether you trade stocks, cryptos, forex, or any other asset type, apply these strategies the exact same way. And third, everything we show you in this video and strategy section works the same on all timeframes. Whether you trade on the very low timeframes, such as the five minute timeframe, or the medium timeframes, such as the four hour timeframe, or the higher timeframes, such as the daily timeframe, these strategies work the exact same way. So let's dive into the strategies. Now, before we continue, we need two questions answered. First, what topics do you want us to cover next? And second, do you like longer videos or shorter videos? And how long of a video do you prefer? Tell us in the comments below right now.
Also, make sure to hit the like button as it goes a long way in supporting our team. So this strategy involves finding a trade setup in the same direction as the Ichimoku cloud directional bias for a higher quality trade entry, starting in an uptrend and above the cloud. This is the Aussie yen 15 minute time frame. Price is above the cloud, giving you a bullish upwards directional bias. So what you do is you look for any type of long trade setup so that you are trading with the bullish momentum given to you from the Ichimoku cloud. The trade setup came right here through this area of confluence where you have the support level and the moving average both crossing. You then had multiple candles reacting to the level, failing to push through, giving you a validated long trade setup. You would then go to the very low timeframes to wait for a trend change confirmation before taking long entries. So let's show this again. This is the one hour time frame. Price is above the cloud, giving you a bullish upwards directional bias. So you want to look for long trade opportunities to trade with the upwards Ichimoku directional bias. This is where the long trade setup occurred as you had this great key level here with multiple reversal points, making it of higher quality. You then had multiple on with candles reacting to the level and failing to push through, giving you a validated long trade setup. You would then go to the very low timeframes and wait for a trend change confirmation before taking long entries. So let's show this again. This is the four hour timeframe. Again, price is above the cloud, giving you a bullish upwards directional bias. So you want to look for long trade opportunities to trade with the upwards Ichimoku directional bias. This is where the long trade setup occurred because you had a great support level with multiple touches, as well as a trend line with multiple touches, both crossing, making this a higher quality trade setup. You then had shrinking candles followed by multiple long with candles reacting to the level, which validates the long trade setup and makes this a very high quality long trade. You would then go to the very low timeframes to wait for a trend change confirmation before taking long trades. So now going in the opposite direction in the downtrend and below the cloud. Price is below the cloud, giving you a bearish downwards directional bias. So you want to look for short trade opportunities to trade with the downwards Ichimoku directional bias. This is where your short trade setup occurred, where the trend line, resistance level, and moving average all crossed. You then had a ton of candles reacting to the level and failing to push through, showing that this area is valid and presented a higher quality short trade setup. As always, wait for a trend change confirmation through the lower intraday timeframes before taking short entries. So moving on to the next strategy. Now this strategy involves finding trade setups at key levels or areas of confluence where the Ichimoku cloud also lines up to increase the quality of a trade setup. Starting in an uptrend and above the cloud. This is the four hour time frame. Price is above the cloud, so you have a bullish bias. You then had the support level here. This is where the long trade opportunity setup was because you had multiple candlesticks reacting to the support level and the cloud. As always, find an intraday trend change before taking a long entry. Again, price is above the cloud, so you have a bullish bias. You have your support zone here because of these two reversal points. Long trade opportunity here where you had price reacting to the support level and the cloud. This is the four hour time frame. Price is above the cloud, so you have a bullish bias. Key level here because of this reversal point and this false breakout reversal point. This is where your long trade opportunity presented itself because price reacted to the key level and trend line and also entered the cloud. As always, find an intraday trend change confirmation before taking a long entry. So this is the Robinhood stock. Price breaks through the cloud and forms a higher high, signaling a trend change from a downtrend to an uptrend and bullish momentum within this particular moment in time. So you wanna trade with that momentum. This is where the long trade setup occurred because you had your key support level with multiple reactions, trend line that crosses, the cloud acting as a support level, a candle color change, and multiple long wick candles with the wicks sticking out, which again shows a reaction to the area of confluence. As always, you wait for an intraday trend change confirmation before finding an exact entry point using our key entry strategy and tool. Now for extra protection, you can place your stop loss below the cloud here because in case price swings around before going upwards, the cloud can act as a barrier and contain price from hitting your stop loss. 
you can target this recent swing high level here. So next, this is the Amazon stock four hour time frame. Price breaks through the cloud and forms a higher high, signaling a trend change from a downtrend to an uptrend and bullish momentum. So you want to trade with that momentum. This is where your long trade setup occurred because you had your support zone, trend line that crosses, moving average, and Ichimoku cloud as support all lining up. As always, once you had your intraday trend change confirmation, you would find an exact entry point using our key entry strategy and tool. Now you would target this weekly zone here because if you jump to the weekly time frame, you'll notice that this is a very clear weekly zone with many recent reversal points. So now going in the opposite direction in a downtrend and below the cloud, prices below the cloud so you have a bearish bias. You then had this resistance level here with multiple reversal points. This is where your short trade setup was because you had a very long wick candle reacting to the resistance level and the cloud. As always, find an intraday trend change before taking a short entry. This is the one hour time frame. Price is below the cloud, so you have a bearish bias. Short trade set up here because you had multiple long wick candles reacting to the resistance level and the bottom of the cloud. This is the Goldman Sachs stock. Price is below the cloud, so you have a bearish bias. Short trade set up here because you had multiple candlesticks reacting to the resistance level, trend line, and the bottom of the cloud and failing to break through. As always, intraday trend change confirmation before taking a short entry. Short trade setup one is here through the fresh cloud break and pullback entry at the resistance level and bottom side of the cloud. Short trade setup two is here through the resistance zone, trend line, and bottom side of the cloud all crossing. Now here are trade setups using the inside of the cloud. Setup one is here through price entering the cloud and using it as resistance, as well as reacting to the key level. Setup two is here through price entering the cloud and using it as resistance, as well as reacting to the key level. Now a question you probably have, how do you know when to enter once price is inside of the cloud or when price reacts to the outline and border of the cloud? This again, all comes down to knowing how to find an intraday trend change confirmation followed by finding an exact entry point using our entry strategy. So let's get into that right now. This strategy involves applying everything we've shown you in this video and combining it with the usage of multi time frames, which is what we always use in our day to day trading. So, this is the Swiss yen. On the left is the daily time frame, and on the right is the one hour time frame of the same asset. This is where your long trade setup occurred because you had a very long with candle reacting to the support level and the Ichimoku cloud. Now you need a trend change confirmation after the trade setup or else price can continue downwards or chop around without actually taking off upwards. So we use a lower time frame, such as the one hour time frame on the right to find a trend change confirmation after the trade setup occurred on the daily time frame. This area here where the long trade setup occurred on the daily is this same area here on the one hour time frame. So once you had price break through and above the cloud, making higher highs and starting to react to the cloud as new support, this confirms the trend change from a downtrend to an uptrend. This is then when you would go to the even lower timeframes to find an exact entry and exit point using our entry and exit strategy and key tool. So let's show this again. So on the left is the four hour time frame, and on the right is the one hour time frame of the same asset. You had your key level of support because of this reversal point. This here is where your long trade setup occurred because price entered the cloud and used it as support, as well as reacting to the actual key level with multiple long wick candles. So to confirm this long trade setup is valid and not a fake out, we need to look for a trend change confirmation using a lower time frame, such as the one hour time frame on the right. This area here where the long trade setup occurred is this same area here on the one hour time frame. Notice how you also had an RSI divergence inside of the long trade setup from the higher time frame, which makes this a higher quality long trade setup. Your trend change confirmation came through a pattern break above and higher high, which is then when you would start looking for long entries. If you are a pullback trader, you got that pullback entry here where price reacted to the new support level and forming a bullish momentum candle off the level. 
So now, how do you know whether to enter on the breakout here or to wait for a pullback entry? This is again why you always need to go down to the even lower timeframes to find an exact entry and exit point using our entry and exit strategy and key tool to not get trapped in fake out entry points. So what we've covered in this video is only scratching the surface. If you wanna learn our many advanced entry and exit strategies, trade management strategies that won't ever be on YouTube, head on over to our website at wisetrade.com. Also right now in the comments below, Tell us exactly what video topic you want us to cover next, as we always look through which topic suggestions we see again and again to decide on videos we will do next. So go comment below right now with your topic suggestions. As always, to show your support, please hit the like button, subscribe, but most importantly, turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. And last thing, make sure to follow our Instagram account at WiseTrade as we have a lot of big projects dropping soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.